guys, welcome back to another Anthony video. Today, um, just to go, want to let y'all know, I will be doing a Roblox video later. But today, right now, I will be explaining to you the entire Fortnite storyline today. Well, season one, really not that much stuff. Season two, not that much stuff. Season three is where we get into some stuff. And by the way, I got most of this stuff from the Smith Plays and that those kind of people. So shout out to them for giving me the idea to do this video. But season three, I don't know if it's season three or season four if the rocket event happened. But no, season four got into the interesting stuff. So season four. Dusty Depot's gone. A meteor hit it. What could we all think? Dinosaurs were coming. Because meteors, dinosaurs, you know, they all attach together. But no, little did we know, we're all wrong. There was a thing, there was a little place called Organi Organization X. That was around the map. Collecting these, like, meteors and hop rocks. And yeah. Also... The season that we got the visitor and the rocket event. The visitor was trying to go back to his boss to tell him what happened on the island. But the rocket ship ended up failing, destroyed some places, and boom, we're in the season five. The desert. Alright, Organization X was still around the map. Um trying to gather stuff but right now organization x is not that important till season till a couple more seasons season five was all about the desert the desert it was pretty good season five drift he is a big part of the storyline drift is and um he came from a dimensional world that like we all know and yes here we go then guys this season six. I know I'm kind of making this a little quick, but there's not really that much to tell until we get into later seasons. Season six, nothing that big happened. Season six, usually, it was Halloween themed. Oh, Calamity, one of the best skins, not gonna lie. Um, was uh, probably, in, I think Sometime was an important part of the storyline. The zombies that came in. Oh, Kevin the Cube. Yeah, Kevin the Cube. Well, hold on. Oh, let's go back to season five real quick. Kevin the Cube came in in season five. Finally makes his way to the lake. Um, spread in. Season six, he came into an island. And we did not know what was going on with Kevin. In season six, the butterfly event. And yes, this is where the stuff starts to get good. Who was actually behind the butterfly event? No one will ever know. But, I can tell you, it's a surprise. Um, yes. And, um, season seven. Now we got snow, we got the Ice King. The Ice King played a big part in the storyline. The Ice King versus the Fire King. I don't know if y'all remember that battle. It was pretty good. But, yeah, that's about it for season seven. Season eight, the treasure. Fire King was still alive. Ice King, and also Blackheart. Season 8, oh yeah. Season 8 had the volcano, and yeah. There's not much storyline to tell from Season 8. Season 8 was basically the uh, thing to, because everyone wanted a female tier 100 skin, but it ended up not being good and people didn't like it. So honestly, the cure tier 100 in that season was probably Blackheart. He was pretty good. Um, see, or uh, after that, the volcano event. It took out my favorite spot personally, Tilted Towers, dude. Tilted Towers is awesome, honestly. Oh, and it also took out Retail Row. Retail Row is great too, but it's also back now. Um, and yes, I have my Fortnite loaded up. Guys, cars on August 5th. I will be doing a video on the cars tomorrow. Tomorrow morning after I get the update. 
It might be episode three, call it in the morning. Who knows? Um, yes. Season nine. No, season eight. We got to go into the vault. We saw this mysterious head. We were wondering who's, whose mask it was. Season nine came along. The future. Peely was gone. And yeah, the future was basically all about beef. <laughs> well, there's not much to say until the big part of the storyline, the monster version of the robot. But first, the monster took Polar Peak, had it on his back. When we saw that in the Monster vs. Mecha event. And yes, guys, the person who had killed the monster who was inside the mech, who also put on the butterfly event, was Singularity, actually. Surprising, but she was one of the saviors of the Chapter 1 map. There's not much story to tell in Chapter 1. Chapter 2, though, it's about to get good. So I'm about to have a seat. Excuse me, guys, we're trying. All right. Season X. Oh, Season X. The storyline was basically, it was the end. It was basically the end. Fortnite was going to crash, like explode. But we didn't know how it was gonna explode. And yes, guys, this was when Organization X came. I don't really remember what they did, but I know they came in in some important part of the storyline and if y'all like this video or y'all want me to do some like more separate storylines about people make sure to like and subscribe with the post notification bell on and yeah so season one chapter two this is where it all starts the storyline the visitor dead we all thought it He's not, actually. Season 1, Chapter 2. Ghost versus Shit. No, not Ghost versus Shadow. Alter versus Ego. Ego was basically winning. But then Alter took uh, took on the rest of the season. Steamy Stacks was to Alter. Chaos Agent was the leader of Alter. He was he's one of the most important characters of the storyline. He might have even been the leader of Organization X. We don't know that, though. Alright. Chapter 2, Season 1. I feel like we kind of forget what the event was. What was the event? Anyways, that was a pretty good season. Storylines and storylines. But we're about to get into it. Guys, you know, remember that middle house before it turned into the agency? Actually, Midas was on this map before any of us were. Midas lived in that house, and the golden stuff just hinted. In Chapter 2, Season 2, he rose, and he rose, and he built, he built the agency. The agency was probably one of the most important parts of the storyline. The agency, we all know the Shadow vs. Ghost War, but none of us knew that, that was just a distraction. That was not even important for Midas. Midas was going to do the Doomsday device. The Doomsday device was supposed to break the simulation. That means, like, break the Chapter 2. We would have probably gone to another map. His goal was to break the simulation and break the storm. So he built this crazy device with, and then he put, oh, and yes, if you're wondering why I have Minus on, because he is the most important character of the storyline, guys. And yes. He set off his doomsday device. Obviously, John Jones stopped it. But, yeah, somehow Midas ended up in the middle of the ocean after the tsunami. And he got eaten by sharks. 
but I don't think he's dead because there's golden cars at Risky Reels this season, so that still teaches that he's alive. Oh, yes, chapter two, season three. The one that we're currently in. Y'all know Sonia? She's actually the leader of the seven visitors. I don't know what I actually guessed that. Oh, and also, the seven by Oro's Chosen, Midas is one of the seven, and he is the most powerful, because he killed Oro. And yes, chapter two, season three, we have not that much information yet, but those bunkers, we know that the, de that the developers of Fortnite come out of those bunkers and add stuff in. Maybe the live event this season will be catching one of them, adding and trying to add something in. That would be really cool. But all we know now is Siona is the leader of the seven. Oro is dead. And right now we're just stuck in the middle of the ocean. Actually, it's kind of, well, okay. Cars tomorrow, Roblox video later. Not right now, though. In probably about two or three hours. Yeah. And I will see y'all later. Have a great day. And if you liked the video and you want to hear more storyline videos, like and subscribe. With post notifications on. And I hope y'all have a great day. Bye!